Hi everyone, we're back at the hot tub and we're talking about self-care and just wanting to plant some seeds for you to, to do some of your own work, whether you're a part of Flesh and Spirit community, The Missing Thread, or you follow Donnie and I. Um, what, what is it that you do for your self-care, knowing that the results of your self-care has everything to do with the results of your business, your prosperity, your health. And so I want to tell a quick little story about when, uh, when the AIDS epidemic started uh, early on in, in the 80s. Uh, you know, nobody, everybody was kind of scrambling. And, and as a healer, I knew that, that ultimately there were going to be 3 to 10% of people who would survive and thrive through that epidemic because there are always 3 to 10% of people who always survive any kind of life-threatening disease. But I didn't know how they were going to do that. I just knew that that there were things about people who survived and thrived that could be encouraged, could be drawn out of people. And uh, so when I think about self-care, I'll tell you this story. There was a, a man, uh, a mystic, uh, whose name is Paul Lowe, bringing good to together good psychology and science and spirituality during those early years of, of the AIDS epidemic. And one of the things that he did with people, and I, I love holding this dolphin and being in this hot tub because it reminds me of, of the question that, that Paulo presented people. And what he asked them is, what's fun? What's fun for you? And let's go on a journey that comes out of just for the fun of it. So he would just spend hours with people just drawing out what's fun for them because part of our self-care is how much fun are you having? If you're, if you're doing all the right things in your world and you're even feeling rather prosperous and you're not having a whole lot of fun, then you're probably endorphin-wise creating an environment for you to ultimately get sick. Or, you know, having fun has everything to do with being big and expanding in your world. So, as you think about self-care, and uh, you know, in our, in our potluck, we're going to have somebody probably from Joe's Barbershop. So, you know, one of, one of the people who I go to uh, works at Joe's Barbershop to, you know, cut my hair and do, do a flat top. Um, and, but I go there not just because it does a really great job, but it's kind of a fun atmosphere. It's, it's, it's a heartful place. It's a place that, that really supports me. So what do you do for fun as part of your self-care and entertain just for the fun of it? What would you like to be doing? All right, this is part two of self-care, the theme for October. Namaste.